Hey guys, what's up? Fellow ACO here. Uh, and today I'm going to do an updated review on uh, Animal Control Officer Duty Belt. I've changed some things. Um, I'll also look at the uh, duty vest as well. Uh, but before I get started, I want to give a shout out to uh, uh, Joe the ACO at uh, Etsy. Um, it's where I got this cool hat from. I got quite a few other things. You can see there's a catch pole right here in the flag. Um, go to Etsy.com. Search for Joe, uh, Joe the ACO, and you can find all kinds of good products there. He's a fantastic guy. Um, gets stuff to you quickly. Great products. So without further ado, um, we're going to go ahead and jump into this. If you guys have any questions or anything, leave a comment down below. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Uh, we'll do more videos. All right, so let's take a look at what we got here. All right, guys, so... As you can see, this is uh, the duty belt uh, that I use. Um, so we'll just kind of hop into it. So a few things have changed here. Uh, these right here, these are my belt keepers, of course. You all know what those go to. Uh, if not, they strap between your duty belt and your uh, belt that keeps your pants up. So we're going to start over here and work our way down. So here, this is a cartridge holder. Um, and this is um, used to hold these particular cartridges um, and the brown one's a 25 foot dark cartridge the pink one is a uh, pepper bowl um, and also have rubber bullet we'll get into that when uh, I move further down okay so but this is a uh, cartridge uh, holster made uh, by phaser uh, international um, it's a double cartridge holster. I like carrying two with one in the weapon. Um, ver works very well. Uh, this is a leather uh, Safari Land duty belt. Uh, I don't know if I explained that last in my last um, review, but uh, there it is. This again, this hasn't changed. This is still um, my mace holder. Uh, this is Fox brand. Probably going to switch this up to a different brand uh, come when it I need to change it okay again same thing here this is uh, the dazer so and all this is is just like a loud dog whistle um, pretty nifty uh, I don't need to really open this and show you but this is just a glove pouch I keep it on the back um, of my duty belt um, this is an asp baton uh, so expandable baton friction baton doesn't have the button um, I'm hoping to get uh, a different end piece on this uh, but uh, overall it's pretty pretty good baton this right here you're probably wondering what this is this is actually for uh, a drop down leg holster um, in case I want to take this off I can do a leg holster okay but the well this is the biggest update uh, here so this is what is called the sorry guys my uh, stands broken from the camera so I'm gonna pull the phone so this right here is called the phaser enforcer it is a CEW tool um, it is different it's a Equivalent to the X26 uh, taser, but uh, this is um, the phaser enforcer. Okay, so this is what our department uses. Um, this one is equipped with a black cartridge. This is a rubber bullet cartridge. Okay, so that's what we use. Um, it's a neat little neat gun. Well, I shouldn't say gun. I should say CEW tool. Uh, um, so it does again it doesn't fire powder or anything like that it's all uh, rubber bullet pepper ball dark cartridge or just a straight up stun gun uh, the neat thing about this um, is so once you take that out that cartridge out for safety purposes it does have a laser and then it also has a flashlight built into it okay so that's a fantastic uh, device um, pretty bright light it'll light up a whole room so if you're doing a search for 
uh, inside of a residence, something along that. And then I also carry uh, a Defiant. Uh, it's really bright. So I just got this. Um, I really like it. So I'm just going to get a uh, little O-ring to put on the belt, and that'll go in here next. Um, so that's the duty belt, guys. That's what I carry on that. Um, and then well, let's take a quick look at the vest. All right, guys. So this is my uh, everyday carry vest uh, while on duty. Um, this actually, this is just covering up my agency. Um, so that's not on there, but that's my agency name and then Dog Warden. Because uh, here in Ohio, we're Dog Wardens, not Animal Control Officers. So we only deal with dogs. Uh, but uh, if you remember from the last video, I have my badge on here. Um, but I've taken that off and actually put it on a chain and I carry that around my neck. Um, and then I have my phone up here, radio mic still up here with an extra pin. Um, and then my radio is down here. Now this is a Kenwood. We actually just got these earlier this year. Uh, but it is a fantastic radio. It works real well. Nothing but uh, um, good things to say about that. This pocket here, again, hasn't changed. It's just a microchip reader. You, again, all you do is you just turn it on, hold that down, scan over your dog. And boom, pops up a microchip. So, allows us to return them back to the owner. So, in this middle pocket here, um, I do carry a K bar knife. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. So, I do carry a K bar knife. Um, comes in handy on a lot of different things. Need to cut a leash for a dog that tangled up or something like that. I also carry a pocket knife, but this is in front access, it's very handy. Um, but it comes, uh, in this, so, so that works well. And then you can take it off and put it on your duty belt or personal belt or whatever. So, but that sits in this pocket here. Um, I also keep a pad of paper in here too. Um, and also a couple spare pins. So, um, in this pocket, I keep my gloves, uh, told you about these gloves you can get them off of Amazon thin blue line uh, decent gloves still holding up um, I have my thermal um, thermal gun in here <clears throat> so if I got a dog gets in a hot vehicle those type of things uh, it can I can check the how hot it is inside the vehicle uh, you still got the Smith & Wesson double hinge And uh, oh, my back came off, but I get keep an extra flashlight there. And <coughs> sorry, guys, and I keep another flashlight. So, um, you know, basically, you always want to be prepared and go out on those night calls. Uh, you want to be able to see everything. So, uh, but that's it, guys. Uh, of course, it's got the soft plates um, inside of here, so I'm not taking those out because those are a pain. Uh, again, this is made by uh, Point Blank. Um, it's a very good product. It's held up real well. Um, you know, just make sure that you clean it and take care of it. Uh, but you got your radio holster and then some other additional pockets to hold other items. So again, that's how it is. Um, so that's my entire everyday care for the most part. I didn't show some other things, but uh, that's the majority of it. Um, right there all right guys so you've seen everything that i have um i updated the biggest update was the phaser enforcer that our department now carries um so that's what we carry on every day leave a comment what you guys carry what questions you may have and i'll do my best to answer you uh, again this channel is more designed um, to review different type of things and also to provide information uh, for animal control officers, dog wardens, um, humane agents, anything that we can uh, to help everyone out. So anybody that has any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, leave down um, in the, the description or leave down in the comments below um, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, so again, this is fellow ACO. If you 
you haven't liked or and subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do so. Um, and there'll be videos to come. They've been a little short back and forth, or they've been a little while back and forth, but it's been, you know, busy trying to get a facility open and other things. So, um, all right, guys, I'll talk to you next time. Thank you. Um, and maybe next time there might be a giveaway. So don't know yet, but uh, we'll find out. All right, guys, you have a good one. Be safe out there.